blood, don't need no warning. This feeling's right, vibrations. Show through my bones, sensations. So through your glow, so incredible. The way I feel with you, so phenomenal. And you always push me through, unforgettable. The way I feel with you, unbelievable. And you always push me through, let you Let your fire in you, let your fire. Let your fire with you. Music. There we go. Should be everything well now. Hello, Rezi. Hey, hello, hello. Welcome. Gracias por estar. Thanks, everybody, for joining, for being here. Let me see if everything is working well. <laughs> the this verse, this is the verse that you want to hear, isn't it? I knew it. I knew it. Master. <laughs> okay, I shared the links around. Ba bam ba bam ba ba da bam ba bam ba ba da dum. Oh, uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work. My precious. <laughs> this should be loud enough. But I'm not sure. Ba da ba 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 ba. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. We can hear perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Let me just check the. Notifications and stuff. I have the chat here. Okay, the chat is open. All right. Kinaran, welcome. Welcome. How are you doing? Uh, all right. Uh, 
uh, this is a very artistic game. I decided to use my headset. Your voice sounds so smooth. I feel so much space. <laughs> hey, thank you for those words. I appreciate that. I started. I started playing uh, just to test if things were working, and they were. So I'm gonna start another one. So I'm gonna delete this. Yes, I'm gonna start a new game. And we'll see if uh, the volume is all right then. Uh, thanks everybody for being here. And this is Sable. I think this is an indie game. Um, been a very very nice art style, very different from other things. It feels like you're playing a some sort of a, a cartoon, but not cartoon. Uh, it's hard to explain. If it's like an animated movie, but a, a 2D, but it's 3D. I don't know. I can explain. Let me just show you. <laughs> it's very chill and slow paced. <laughs> it takes a little bit to load. I'm playing this off of Xbox. PC Game Pass, sorry. Yeah. It is very loud. Sable. I'm gonna use this. Okay. Hmm. I'm just testing the frame rate. Grab, grab, grab. <laughs> the art style is very cool. It has some uh, dark, darker, very thick edges. This drawn in black. Looks like a, like a comic. Like the edges. It is very nice. Jump. 
Nein. Ich habe ein Ei für das Stamina. Oh, okay, Crouch. Now that we are out in the open, the color, the colors, they brighten up, lighten up. Very pretty. Sprinting. Ah. So it looks looks new, yeah. Climb. Will you make it? Will you make it? Oh, okay. Ibex camp. Let me see if I can do something. This looks a little better. Wait, let me do something real quick. Usually once you know how to sprint in a game, you never stop using it. <laughs> I would do it just because there's a stamina. So when there's a stamina, I don't really, I only use it when I need it. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, I'm just checking the volumes again. This is fine. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. Can you hear the music? I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Nice. Jaddy. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. I tell Jaddy that I know. But that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it the whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be a ride. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. 
and how wonderful the wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you learned to for you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on my handles on the handles. And you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Yet it reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I take a breath. Breath? Breath. I changed my mind, I'm saying. I think I'm ready. I don't know where to start. Jetty's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Uh, can you guys see the... It's, it's like afternoon or something like that. The colors are changing. Or is it like a huge cloud, I think? I don't know. Well, I can help with that, says Daddy. It's so pretty, yeah. Daddy, you'll need to talk to Hylal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. And Hylal will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jed is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that that's why I'm so eager to make it, to choose well and quickly, so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, huh? She knows me. Now, go speak with Hylal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak of and speak to Dries. I've told him to arrange your bike with Ciso. But you know how she how he is. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm, it fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Oh, I have two things. Nice. This is Hi, Lal. Hi, Lal. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this! Halal hands me a small round stone as it nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Hylal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it, and I find it softly electric, like static on cloth.
I didn't bring anything for you. I'll give us a tingling, la a tingling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell how loud I feel. Connectedness, fuzziness, electricity. Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it, and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and they're waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilo claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at times like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't got your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jadis' words now and tell Hello, I go see Driss. Okay. So, let's go to Driss then. What is this? What is Driss? Uh huh. Oh, is that money? Money! Give me all the money. Bank, 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 bank. Money. Ah, boink. Ooh. Is this the bike? Ew. Ibex camp. Though I told myself not to be, not to be too eager it's all I can do not to race up to Triss Triss is a camp manager he's been difficult to get a hold of lately but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature what will its name be I wonder how fast will it go Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Tris turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, uh, hello! Teddy sent me to speak with you? Did she? Uh, what about? I tell him it was about something special, and then he ma then make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. <laughs> gestures but I can't do it I'm too keen and the words spill out I ask Driss Driss I ask Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me your bike he yells he yells it like it's an idea he's just had your bike yes of course right yes your bike that I was meant to, that I prepared for you, because today is your... Did you forget? In abject horror, I gently ask if he may have forgotten. What? What? I would never, it's obviously I have your bike. By which I mean I arranged it for you in a, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. It's not here. Not exactly. But that's because this is part of your gliding. 
You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and I find and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding. But Trees does seem earnest so, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like to, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Tris gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if I've ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do it for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> this thing is about to explode. That's funny. But it was funny, huh? Alright. I returned to Dries who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! That was your first pre-glide ride. Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. This is this bike dangerous? Well... He doesn't finish. Have you had a... Have you already... Have you already been by Hilo? Oh, right. I nearly forgotten about Hilo. And thanks, Tris, for the reminder before at least nudging him a little about the bike. I asked him if I was still getting one. Well, you're getting the one... The use of this sand cutter. That's something, huh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And uh, Hylal's got something to show you, too. Help you, to help you out. Help you out with more of a, a mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only slightly tarnished, I thank Dress very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hylal. Let's go. Is that the temple? Do I have to climb it? I don't think I can. Or not. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Let me get out of here and... Look. Oh, this is north. Alright, let me go to Hylal first. 
maybe there's a map here? Ibex camp. Okay, no, there's nothing else. I think I should go to Hylal again. Let me go back there. Let me explore a little bit here. This seems interesting. Tisa looks busy. I should leave her to it. Okay. Money. Money. Oh, the money. Money. I got money. I need money. Wait. Habush. 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 Nothing here. Let me talk to Halal again. Head over to the temple, Sable. I promise it will be worth the trip. It's a temple. Where was it? Uh... Wait, what's that? <laughs> Chum egg. Oh, this is like a collectible. Offer up by chums when planting themselves into the ground, perfectly smooth and, and hard as a rock. Sex seem to flow with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Oh, okay. There's not collectibles. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Is that the temple? Let's go. Run. Okay, now we explore. I'm feeling so relaxed. <laughs> thank you, thank you for being here. This is a very relaxing game. This is not a temple. Wait, was the temple the place where I started the game? That kind of makes sense. Oh, boink. What's that red thing right there? That looks scary.
Get some sort of switch. Alright. This game is so chill. Yep. <laughs> Wait, this is, looks like a cavern. I think there was a... Pl no, it's not a cavern. Never mind. Oh, I'm f very far away. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. See if I can climb here. Nice. Oof, this is scary. Okay, that scared me a bit. Wait, I cannot live here. I cannot climb all that back. Hmm. Okay. Hola. This is a cutscene. The stone thrums like a like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Or maybe it feels right. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. I seem so. Okay. Yeah, now we can glide or something like that. Oh. Yeah, I remember saying something about that.
Okay, now this is activated. Let's hold it to glide. Oh, there we go. To glide. This is really cool. Nice. Wait. Can I now go? I don't think I can go back. How oh, cool it is. It really do be. I can now do this. Nope. Should I do this differently then? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this will take me up. It won't take me back down, okay. Nothing else there? Doesn't seem like it. There's probably gonna be something there. I know, game. I know. Okay. I can grab these things. I don't think this is going to work. Let me try. There we go. It works. Money. Hey, we're back to normal color again. the motorcycle it is Boink. let's go back to high lol i think this is barely even working
Let me go. Let go, my ego. Run. Run to the hills. When I return to Hylal, it's unclear they know what I've just experienced. It's clear they know what I've just experienced. The music, yes, it is very nice. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? A little queasy, safe, like a warm hug. I'll tell Hylal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. I swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Hylal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have never come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there, heaving myself into chasms. I heave myself into chasms for you. <laughs> Is that really what you do? I wish we could all do it. So do I, Sable. So do I. I know people manage to keep it up. But I don't know that I've got... But I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hello laughs. Even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still... I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but I decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot of there's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. Now say goodbye to Hylal. Before I go, Hylal gestures towards the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Cizo has a task for you. For us. Uh, okay. Really? Thanks everybody for being here. Tiso is an outclaner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of a distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are giving their posts, their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget. It's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi 
are quite insular or that our designation of uh, Ibexi versus outplanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more uh, the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Ciso did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. Excited for my bike. A bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? Ciso has a thrilly quality to her voice. And it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days. And I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes. Daddy told me how excited you were. Ciso sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say it out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides... This will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own. <laughs> that sounds like an adventure. Technically, shouldn't Driss do it? That sounds like an adventure. It's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before it has taken form is more a privilege than labor. Here. Take this. Sizo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. As six of where I might start looking. Our bikes are born in ruined ships. In fragments spread apart, a good star would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on the Great Rock, near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark, to mark the town if you need. You'll need to gather control panel, power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. That's all she said. I'll see her soon. Together we will create something new out of the old. RB. Okay, let's do it. Do it. Place a marker. Oh, is that like the ways? Oh, yeah, no. I might as well just go for it. Boing. Have an adventure. <laughs> do 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 do.
There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Remin. Concentrate. I don't think I have remind you. I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right. Let's see what that old machinist told us. Holds up. If not, they'll have to pay. I hear the sound of a mechanical adjustment being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed. Perhaps. Okay. When I push this orange thing, pull the lever hard. Yes, Roman. Sound of a click and a loud, loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, Rohanna's on Rohanna's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Remy? Let me see the machinist's notes. A long pause and the rumbling static. Sound that started playing. The ship took off, increasing in pitch. Ramen? The lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. What do you try to? And the recording goes up there. Just leave it alone. Is there anything else I can do here? I don't think there is. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Are you looking for a calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. This music is beautiful. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get it to me. May I please have it? I decide to be gentle and as ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly. All high and screechy. Despite my best efforts, I see it. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. Some enough of my irritation. But I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect the change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put my hand... I put on my hand. Proud of myself for standing tall before Saima. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrators. <laughs> or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Beetle. Can I run over you? Can I run you over? Let's ask someone about the Beatles. You want the dead little one? Probably. Eh, 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 eh. 
There's a bit of catching beaters. There's a for the alpha or something. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk and catch it though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Jaddy greets me warmly. Hello little bladder. It's big ladder to you. <laughs> it's so strange getting car like that, getting called that. Instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get used to it. She seems to really like it. And maybe I like it too. My little glider. Okay. Um, Beatles. Is that what I actually have to do now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can throw things. That's good to know. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we just hide. Is there anything I can actually grab? Oh, I came from here. Go for it.
respirado. Oh, there it is. <sighs> I might take a two minute break real quick so I can refill. Not even refill, but I haven't got my coffee. <laughs> I have my coffee prepared, but I haven't drink drank it. Maybe you'll buy a bowl of my carne. <laughs> Because it's Beatles. Ha! Welcome, Kifu. It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a beetle. Stick around too long. Hey, no worries, man. Appreciate you being here. The Popo! Hey, hello! How you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Popo, Kifu. How's it going? I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Saima the Beatles. Better rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrated and begins to cry. It's coffee time! <laughs> hey, Bunny, welcome, welcome. Thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I'm drinking water. How rude. I have a coffee right here. Proper grammar. <laughs> to not. <laughs> you can't ban him. <laughs> Hey. What have I done? You're leaving, you're leaving, and you'll never come back. Come for her. She blows her nose and wipes her, her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it's always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not be like that. It's only feeling sad earlier, but I feel better. Hope everything is going great tonight. Hey, nice. I mean, nice because it's because you're feeling better. But I'm sorry that you were sad before. Really hope things can improve. <laughs> hey. Thanks everybody for being here. 
Hey, you can't go wrong with coffee. <laughs> exactly. Please don't go. I told so Saima not to worry that I will be back sooner than she knows. And I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And they add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Cool, then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Nice. What is this? Oh. Red dye? For the colors of Ibexi red bike. Oh. I can color the bike with this? Ooh. 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 Hi, it's from Keith. Run! 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 That's the moon. To where are the next parts I should go? And the control panel. Oh, let's go to the... To the dam. Oh, let's go first here. Let's explore for a little bit. This bike doesn't take me anywhere. Let's go. Wait, I was here before. Never mind. What is that place? Oh, there. Okay.
that sick flip. Nobody does that sick flip better than I do. Will that work? No. Right. This is new. Nice. Just in time. I chrome crash hard. Gotcha. Just climb all of that just to get back down here. Where do I start though? Feel yeah, feels like this is a good starting point. Come on. There it is. Okay. Oh no. Is it gonna work? No, it's not. So close. No, oh, there we go. supply. Nice. Ba -ba -ba. What is this? Just laying around, exactly. Just exactly what I needed. Like nothing else is there. <laughs> okay. Thanks everybody for being here. I will take a little quick break, like two or three minutes, and I will be right back. Much love to every single one of you. BRB.
Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm back. Um, I might not go for too long. Probably just gonna cross the two hour mark. And probably that was just gonna be it. More than likely because um, this game is way too mellow. <laughs> and I'm just uh, <laughs> very uh, much chilling and almost falling asleep to it. <laughs> and the uh, allergies, allergy meds are not helping at all. <laughs> but anyway, thanks everybody for being here. <laughs> ah, this looks so nice. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is the bike. <laughs> Welcome back, thank you. Got the works. <laughs> this is, hey, take it easy, man. Thanks for being here, Kifu. 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 I'll see you around and hope you have a great day tomorrow. Let's go. My pleasure. Will it work? Go. Go. <laughs> yes. Yes, made it. Nice. Wait. Have a great night, mate. Hope everything goes well for you. Wait, I just went one of those places, not both of them. Ooh, there's more secrets. Let me check that out. Ew. To make it? Nope. Nice. Okay. I might be able to make it to that one. Nope. I messed it up. Oh no, I, I, I'll make it. Heck yeah. Nice. to that part. Scary. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I actually did this. Okay, I got here. And I got there as well. Hmm. But are there more secrets here? Aha! Uh -huh. Secrets. Secrets. Money. 
Money, give me all the money. Give me the money. Ouch. All the money. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. All the money. Give me. Oof, that jump. Hello. Okay. This is not going to end well. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's nothing. All right. He made my motorcycle. It's actually no cycles. But hey. Alright. Where is the dam? The dam dam. Is that it? No. Maybe it is. No, it's not. There it is. That's the, the dam. All right. Let's go. 
Hey. Money. Falling, <laughs> feeling a little bit drowsy. That's not a good sign. Does this make a difference? Those ships up there? Hmm. Any that it? Okay. <sighs> I'm getting very drowsy. <laughs> Might have to cut the stream short a bit. 
Now, this game is incredibly chill. Highly recommend it. My favorite is calling me. Very nice. I'm super relaxed. Hey, no worries. Thanks for being here, Ratsy. I will probably follow in a bit. Probablemente me voy a dormir en seguida también. I feel drowsy. Uh, I sleep. I need, uh, I need to sleep. <laughs> Just uh, feel sleepy. Yeah. My body just went from hey, let's play a game to oh no, time for bed. <laughs> I'll keep playing just for a little bit more, like five, ten minutes, probably. I want to get to the two hour mark, but I don't know if that will happen. But thank you for being here, Radzi. I appreciate you and hope you can uh, have a nice sleep and rest. And uh, much love to you. Have a great night. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Is it here? Does this help? I don't think it helps. It does not help. What is this? Oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. This is the you now. It's the game and uh, allergy meds. I took one pretty much earlier. This game is very chill. Makes anyone drowsy, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I 
Makes me feel super sleepy, yeah. The antihistamines do that. They are supposed to calm your immune system down. And by doing that, it just lowers everything. <laughs> when will I see her again? Once I'm gone. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bag, a bag of your own? Actually, there's some things I need to do first. Very well, return to me when you're ready. Uh, I want to go this. Place first. This is where we started. So sorry for the short stream. I'm so sorry for the short stream, everybody. Uh, thank you, thank you, thanks everybody for showing up, for showing some love, for stopping by, for chatting, for lurking, for leaving your likes. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I did not expect I was going to follow this <laughs> this early. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just uh, sleepy. It's all right. <laughs> Much love to every single one of you. Thanks everybody for being here. I will definitely keep playing this for a much more chill type of uh, streams. So yeah, probably next time I'm gonna have an open VC or something like that. We'll see how it goes. In any case, thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Ratsy. Much love to every single one of you. Thanks everybody for showing up. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.